Alright lads, so I'm getting this out quick because I was just chilling out on Discord, getting ready to play Inheritance Trials, and then everyone starts pinging me. I hop over on BBS Simulator and check Soldex's Discord, and I see it, right? There are four new character leaks coming to BBS, a new collab, the first technical collab of Bleach Brave Souls, and it is actually with Yu Yu Hakusho. We don't know when they're going to be coming out. The character leaks are just out right now. Not really sure why that has happened. Maybe they messed up. But considering the characters are in the game right now, I'm assuming some kind of gameplay will be leaked by Heken in a couple minutes from now if I get this out quick enough. So the characters have been leaked. I believe they're already on the site. We're going to check them out, give my reaction, and see how good the characters are. And I believe there are actually four of them. Look at that. So we have Yusuke, right? It's Yu Yu Hakusho collab. It is four characters. Now, just a quick preface before anyone starts roasting me in the comments. I haven't actually read or watched Yu Hakusho. Like, I'm aware of the characters. I know that it's a popular shonen and stuff like that. I've seen Hunter x Hunter, but I just haven't got around to watching Yu Hakusho, so I might not get a lot of these references. So we're just going to see how it goes. But from the get-go, lads, look at this. This character is absolutely stacked, right, from what we're looking at. He's a technique character. Sorry, but a ranker. Now, funny enough, he's actually considered a no-affiliation character, human like he is human right so that's a bit weird but no affiliation character with a sorry but an a wrong character and he's technique lads shinji literally just came out yesterday that's, that's insane and then looking at his skills he has berserker plus 60 mad bruiser plus 40 devastation plus 60 frenzy havoc plus 20 sharpshooter sprinter plus two and strong attack recharge Mad, this character is looking insane already. Going down to his thing, we have a couple things here. That's cool. Um, let's actually look at his skills. So yeah, the skills are actually gas. Let's look at his attacks real quick. So we have SA1 is a beam forward, and we can see that he shares the same SA1. SA2 is Biakia's. Mad. So yeah, this character is the best character in the game. Biakia's strong attack makes a return with a Yu Yu Hakusho character, 60% Berserker. With Havoc, and hold on, what is first? His first is a like, beam forward, and his third is a forward screen, and we can see that these characters shares the same. You can see the three other characters there. Bro, this is Biaki on steroids. This is insane. What a character, and he's technique. This is the character we've been waiting for. You know, I kind of regret summoning on yesterday's banner, like... I need all for this. I am saying for this. This is actually madness. Mad. So, let's look at the other character. Who are we going to check out next? But this character is looking insane. Two killers, too. Sorry, but Anaranka? Jesus! Alright, so next character is Kurabara. I think that's his name. Just as the cherry blossom is a flower among flowers, Kurabara is a man among men. I won't be defeated by nothing. That's kind of cool. Alright, so let's see his character. He's a no affiliation. We're no affiliation killer. Okay, interesting. Unfortunately, though, he hasn't he doesn't have two killers. That's a bit weird. A bit unfortunate why they're doing that. So strong attack recharge minus 12%. Okay. Berserker plus 40. Bombard Bombard. Okay. Bombardment. Bruiser plus 40. Debilitator plus 5. Frenzy Havoc. Sprinter plus 1. And weaken defense. Mad. Okay, so he's a no affiliation killer. I'm assuming he's going to be actually wanting to be used in the no affiliation guild quest week. The weakened defense is actually quite interesting with bombardment too. That's actually kind of mad with the paralysis. This character is looking quite insane for the no affiliation week of GQ. And you know what? If you get this character 15, 15, 15, you could give him extra weakened defense and he might be a very good lead. You know, what? if I pull him, I'm definitely going to main him as the lead for my no affiliation week because that is mad. If I can weaken their defense and paralyze them and get extra weakened defense from the bonus links Sorts. That's definitely gonna happen. Let's look at his thing. Spirit Fly Swatter. Okay, I'm going to pound you with everything I got, Spirit Fly. I, I don't know what that really means, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited. This is the first collab we're actually getting. So looking at his attacks too, let's see what he has. So SA1 is a lunge forward, okay. SA2 is the sucking vortex, and SA3 is a full screen. That's not too bad. I mean, the vortex could be better, right? It could have been a 960, but I'm not going to complain about that. It's been a while since we have seen that. You know, the end of month, January was the last time we saw a sucking vortex like this, but... That's very interesting. Not a bad character, but it's weird where he doesn't have two killers. Like, maybe because Yusuke is the main character, he got special treatment, but it's very weird that... He's good, don't get me wrong, but it's it's weird that he doesn't have two killers and or sharpshooter. Like, <laughs> Yusuke just got stacked. That's mad. All right, let's check out the next character. All right, so we have Kurama. I'll do anything to beat you. Does not look like he's saying that in the quote, but we have seen in the past that Caleb sometimes do a bad job at translating, right? Uh, so no attack damage plus 20%. No affiliation mind character with the sword, but kill ability. Okay, he can inflict drain on everything. Interesting. And he is... Oh, he's a guild quest character. So 30% attack melee damage in GQ. 10% only in normal content. Weakened duration minus 100%. Guard break and flurry and poise. Sprint to plus one. Bruiser plus 50 on top of the 20% that he has from his normal attack damage. So 70% overall. 
and then the extra 5% in GQ. So he is similar to Nelio, where essentially if you bring him into GQ, he is 100% melee damage. Insane. And because he's a Sorper Killer, you want to use him in the Sorper Killer weak, and he has weak duration, which is the status element on that map. Insane. So let's check it out. It's Sphinx Sinning Tree. Again, I don't know any references to Yu Hakusho. You lads can let me know in the comments below what this actually is. But he has some stack skills. And check into his thing. Now, it doesn't really matter too much about his skills because, you know, he is a NAD-based character. We're many going to be using him in guild, in guild quest. But for Auto, I mean, the good thing about him, right, is the fact that they did give him guard break. Like, he's better than Nelio. He's like Nelio. He can be used in GQ. But because he has guard break, that allows him to be very useful in just anything and you know the fact that he is a no affiliation character you might be able to get away with him by using him in uh pvp i'm not too sure about that one i'm gonna have to test it out when he does drop but we'll see so looking at his attacks a normal attack string is similar to these characters right there fairly average it's a 375 attack right let's just double check it is 375 sa1 is a lunge forward sa2 is a vortex so similar to Tsukushima, and he doesn't have a oh he doesn't have a boost but because of that, he does actually inflict Drain on his, his SA2. I mean, he has a very good chance to inflict it if you do use that SA2. And his SA3 is the Sucking Vortex, which is what you expect from a card like this. That's actually very good. For a NAD-based character, you kind of want to have that SA3. And, bro, that is not bad. <laughs> These characters are looking good. And, lads, we have one more character to look at. So, this is, is going to be a four-character banner. I hope the rates are good. Hopefully, it's not a 30-step ban like the Burn the Witch Killer banner was. I'm hoping for something good here. And I, I'm assuming we're going to find out in a couple of days. Because, like I said, right now, I mean, I'm sure data mined information is still being posted. Like I said, the gameplay should be out later. But we might find out banner news soon. But right now, all we have is the characters. And then the last character we have is Hiei. So Hiei is a heart character, no affiliation character. Again, very weird that they are no affiliation because I'm pretty sure maybe this one is a human, but I know Yusuke is a human character. But then I guess he died in like episode one because I have seen like two or so episodes, right? Uh, so no affiliation character and he has the hollow killer. Bro, <laughs> Lisa literally just came out yesterday and we already are getting another heart hollow killer. Mad, okay, so strong attack recharge, berserker plus 40, bruiser plus 40, debilitator plus 5, devastation, frenzy, guard break havoc, and sprinter plus 1. So nothing too special when it comes to this character, he just looks fairly average in terms of the skills, but he can inflict weakening, so I guess the fact that he does have 40% berserker with the weakening can be quite interesting. Okay, no affiliation recharge, uh, let me quickly check what his thing is, dragon of the darkness flames, that sounds... Pretty cool, actually. And you can see that, actually, that we have no release date right now. So we have to wait and see exactly what does happen there. Checking into his attack store, let's see what he has. So Nad String is similar to these characters right here. SA1, we did actually see earlier that it is a beam forward. SA2 is a 960. And his SA3 is the 1175 race in front of him, similar to Koga. So he, again, going back to his skills, he doesn't look anything special. But when you look at the character's strong attacks, this character is insane, too. Bro, this is four amazing characters, but unlike Yusuke, they don't have any special treatment in terms of getting, like, you know, Yusuke had two killers, which, thank God, he's a technique character, because they definitely needed that, uh, but that's mad that he doesn't have, you know, none of them have two killers besides Yusuke, but... He's a holo killer. He's infinitely better than the Lisa, but obviously Lisa is a Linkso character, so she has that going for her at least. But, bro, these characters are insane. I want to quickly go back to Yusuke. I need to look at this character one more time. All right, so I actually can't deep the fact that the... <laughs> bro, he has Byakuya's strong attack too. With free... I didn't even realize. He has free recharges. He has 80% Berserker. He has the best SA1 in the game, the best SA2 in the game, and the best SA3 in the game. You can't get better than that. This is literally the perfect character in Bleach Brave Souls, and it ain't even a Bleach character. Now, hopefully no one's salty about this, because I know whenever someone mentions the collab, people always complain that keep X character out of my Bleach game, I only want to play with Bleach characters, but but you know what? This is just for fun. It's going to bring in new players that are fans of Yu Hakusho, and if you don't want to play with these characters, don't pull for them, right? I mean, I'm going to be I'm going all in for these characters. Hopefully they have individuals, because I'm definitely getting my hands on this. is the first ever collab, and it makes perfect sense. It's Yu Hakusho. A lot of people do say that Bleach and uh, Yu Hakusho are similar in the first couple arcs. Again, I've already seen like two or so episodes of Yu Hakusho. I can see the resemblances, but this is amazing. Now, I'm, if I'm going to probably update the video at the end if we do get any more news, I'm not sure we are. I've checked BBS Simulator. I've checked Soldex. I believe we're just going to wait for Hiken to upload the gameplay because, because they shouldn't be in the game files right now. Mid-month isn't until, you know, two weeks away. So it's going to be a while before we actually get these characters. But lads, if you actually did skip the current banner right now, 
you probably did a good thing because these characters are the ones you definitely want to be going for. So that being said, lads, hope you guys did enjoy the video. This is insane. Can't wait for them to come out. In the comments below, let me know who you're most excited for. I'm going to assume most people are excited for uh, Yusuke because, I mean, look at the character. He's absolutely insane. Um, I think Hiei is actually a pretty popular character. I believe he was actually in Jump Force 2 along with Hiei. So, uh, no Togoro, though. I know Togoro. He hasn't been data mined. So, unfortunately, we didn't get the villain. But, hey, we got the four main characters, I believe. So, I'm not going to complain about that. But that being said, lads, let me know in the comments below who you are most excited excited for and i'll see you guys in the next one if we get any more news regarding this i'm gonna upload another video so stay tuned for that and i'll see you guys in the next one peace all right then fine <laughs> that took hella long all right um it may be made to the end obviously april falls uh i just did inspect element <laughs> it was actually in the world that you're looking at <laughs> I'm sorry if you fell for it. <laughs> I mean, come on. It's April 1st. You, you, you can't be falling for stuff like this. But if you made it to the end, uh, I, I, I spent a long time on this. If you want to like the video, I appreciate that. It, it took very long. I had to change everything code by code. I had to make the assets. So show some support. I know you might be disappointed. But hey, maybe one day we might get a Yu Hakusho collab. Yeah. <laughs>